part of the business community in the Kumasi Central Business District is shut down. Most of the merchants here deal in food commodities. Today, they are protesting over plummeting of the city and the rising dollar rate. The business operators here are mostly merchants who deal in imported consumables like rice, sugar, and other commodities. But today, they are not opening their shops in protest of the skyrocketing dollar and of course what they describe as disparities in the tax regime a binomra form umbra nyinyina yentenas because abanti ever eating crime what she say a tax no say nyinyina yentwa me hwan so dwuma ye 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 the profit margins no and a tax tax we've been using our profit margins to settle tax that is unfair we want a dialogue with the government. The action today goes beyond just the core triggers. A fracture of the business chain could not be overlooked. Like the headquarters, who will have nothing doing, meaning they won't make any money. Bawa has traveled over 127 kilometers from Techiman to purchase rice, but left disappointed. My school me ba be famo me ti wa na me so be ka se alaji tu ka ko na mo me store me se eh i wouldn't have wasted 500 cities on fuel coming here if i had known the situation at hand the growing trend of food inflation is also a major concern to buyers ye ko ne ko ton ye ma no a ye ntimi ton obi o ba ba beto bi obi sa no a se ne board ne wada na ho prices of food stuff increases due to the rising dollar Government must do something about it. The agitated traders could not tell how long their shops will remain closed. William Evans Sinkum, TV3 News, Kumasi.